know I had the same hairline in like fourth grade. Um, <laughs> but I remember having the clip and just laughing hysterically at it. You wouldn't have been by yourself on the North Shore. That's for sure. Dude, why weren't you deeper? Dude, you shouldn't even have made it out. <laughs> you, liked our, you liked our coffee? I hate to say this, and I don't want this opinion. You guys claim the genetics. Pre predispos you know, predisposed to being like <laughs> I had something. The guy just do doesn't that, even man. come. Yeah, I bet you did. So you would hate driving behind me. <laughs> I've driven with you, yeah. I probably. <clears throat> I was catching the way my man is low as watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good morning, good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back, baby. Fully nuking podcast. Joined today by special guest, lead singer of my favorite freaking band ever, Gutter Drunk, Mr. Will Boothby. Wow. What do you mean, wow? Great job. And also joining us again, A-Frame, baby. Cape May yeah. County's finest. Throwing up gang signs. Should have been a clam boat fisherman, but somehow ended up filming <laughs> stuff. I don't know about that. For a living. What's been up, Will? Oh, uh, you know. We're just diving in, dude. Just going. <laughs> Wait, you just... shampooed? And you fish. psychopath. Dude, I'm in now. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm in the club. <laughs> Shampoo and Dude, conditioner. I kind of like how you got the facial hair coming back. Dude. Yeah, yeah it's a better look for me. That's like his 5 o'clock shadow. So, yeah. I kind of like, well, the problem is, like, I'll never shave with a razor. I'll yeah, yeah. Clip it out. Are you buzz only? Yeah, I'm just, like, butt naked. I'm the same way. Butt Dude. naked clipper status. Are you? Yeah, I don't shave. I just, like, same. face trim. So, yeah. this, is a, this is a topic of discussion between me and Jordan all the time because my dad and her dad are clean shaven Barbasol white shaving cream like Old in the school. mirror every day like shaving it's too full much blown. work boys I no you break out I buzz too, it like I mean, once like... a week once every three weeks something like that Damn. I mean that's why wh that's how I get to this is I'll just it'll get too gnarly yeah I, like start folding over the lip and then I just get sick of it and clip it off my my cutoff is uh not being able to sleep like you get like yeah. stiff ones that make you feel like you're gonna get an ingrown hair in the like in the ones mustache. that just kind of creep into the side here. <laughs> My cutoff so is like never had those. Nah, but I did have a friend that used to have like this white stuff like <sighs> build up. <laughs> is that and then they're no, claiming no. it's toothpaste, but really it's rabies. <laughs> I mean, I always just felt bad. I never said anything about it. I think a good friend would be like, "Yo, dog." Yeah, you know it's not. <laughs> What's though? up? Like I, I had, didn't know him that I had well. crusties, you would be like, "Yo, dog." <laughs> yeah, I would tell you. Clean probably. it up a little. I didn't know him that well. Up. I didn't know him that well. Yeah, Th throwing myself under the bus, <laughs> dude. Um, but me and Will used to just joke about when we were younger, like if you shampooed, it was just like treacherous because we always had these like half mullets, yeah, or whatever's going on here. Well, eventually it just starts dreading up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Isn't that how yours starts? Well, mine dreads in the back, just... and then I get. It's just a no wash routine. But I gotta keep it back here because it's coming off up Come here. On. So that, is that why you keep it long? That's no. the style now though. I was just born with this. You know, I had the same hairline in like fourth grade. It's <laughs> <laughs> the five head. Like I'm not losing it. I just never had it. <laughs> right? Oh my god. Remember all the haircuts in the tabby? Oh my god. That was happening. There's uh I was watching some footage and uh, there's literally just footage of us with a silver bowl on my head, cutting around yes. it. <laughs> it's like, is this real, dude? Uh, unbelievable. Oh man, what uh, what's new in the world of uh, Will Boothby? Um, nothing too exciting. Come on, dude. Surf the other day. Where? Semi pro. Blown um, out fin boxes crap. and everything. No, dude. <laughs> no, fin boxes are. Intact, golden. Did you get them fixed? No. Oh, they were just living. Yeah, the thing's a dream. What's the deal with the sponsorship? With Ben Gravy Surf? Yeah. LLC. It's tough. Don't right you get now. an allotment? It's tough right now. Surfing broken fin boxes and all. <laughs> yeah, but that's how, like. He has access. He has un. If I had brand new surfboards, I would rip way too hard. So they can't. Because like, Ben's got to keep you in check a bit. Yeah, and you don't want to make other people feel bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't even have new boards. New boards are so overrated, actually. Honestly. They are. You could go to the rack and just grab a board for 350 bucks. that nine times out of ten would do the same exact thing. 
there's only one turn out of like a hundred turns that a new board's gonna help you with. Like if you're really doing like a full rotation air, yeah, you're probably gonna want a new board. But we don't do this. <laughs> Dude, look at Dennis. <laughs> you know, I had a weird dream last night about um airs. Like I was thinking just because I've been out of the water for so long, dude, I might come back and just start, like, trying to surf again. Yeah. You know? Dude, that's funny you say that, because I had a really weird dream about <laughs> airs, too. And then I woke up. Oh I was yeah. like, oh, that was way too easy in my dream. Oh, dude, speaking of airs, dude, how's that air tick farm? I didn't realize you skated like that. Oh, the tick farm's sick. Oh, this guy's for real, dude. Dude, I was, like, really impressed by that. You Dang. just hammered that. You should have seen him in 91, dude. I mean, that's... Man. Boothby, I, wait, who was I bit? telling? I was telling someone about this. You were one of the only people that I ever knew grew, growing up that could actually ollie out of a quarter pipe, throw a tray flip, and land backwards back in. Oh, yeah. Because I could land never get that. Land fakey? Dude, yeah. yeah. I've never had pop. Have ever. you always skated? Like, is it one of those things you just pick up and you can just, you're one of those guys who can just, like, not skate for a year and then just be blasting frontside airs uh. in, like, a sketchy-ass, like backyard bowl i really i think i mean i think it's like anything else is like uh it's all mental so it's like i don't know you get warmed up a little bit and it's like the boys are all hyped up and you just start going big and committing and you're like oh that's not even that gnarly that spot's sick right so and sick. it seems like he's adding to it now yeah he's putting like a whole nother pocket in there this dudes are crushing it over there i when i was there for a few minutes the one day he uh, he told me to come by, and it was, like, just crazy to see how committed people are. Oh, yeah. We uh we just emptied out a pool, swimming pool. Where at? My buddy Tom. It's in his backyard. He bought the house, and, like, it's going to cost way too much money to fix the pool to make it, like, swimmable. So you're just going to skate it? Just keeping it empty. It's a kind of a dream. It was looking like it was a little vertical. Dude, but that's the whole beauty of those. Things. For sure. Is like oh, what you saw it? Well, I just saw clips of him, but I was just gonna say like, how cool is it when you go to a pool and you're like, dude, this ain't even doable. And then and then it, an hour later, you're like getting coping. Yes, it's sick. That's the that's like the whole. That's my at least for me. Is like, exactly what you said. That's the beauty of it, dude. Like, yeah. skating the unskatable. <laughs> well, yeah, because then if it's like an easy bowl, then you're like, oh, I gotta progress. Yeah. But if it's a thrasher, vertical, chunky, grinded up bowl, you're like, dude. It's like way more like surfing, though, like what, rather than like something that was built to skate. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like just doing a hack or something's too easy. Yeah. When well, you get in that vert. How, that's what I was kind of getting at. Like, how sick is it when like getting your back truck on the coping is like a sick move? Oh, man. That's like so fun. Yeah. Because it's, like, the thrill is still there because you have to go, like, upside down to get to it. Oh, uh, yeah, and it's, like, coming back into it, it's just, like, free fall. But, um, yeah, you know how, like, there's just those kids when you were younger that just had pop? He was one of them. I can see that. And I could just, I don't know, for some reason I was always, like, a more of a lead weight. I could never you know? see that good. I just I never, tried. I never got a lot of air. I could ollie pretty good, and then everything else I couldn't. Yeah. Tricks, slip tricks. It was just, I think my patience. I said, skateboarding is so sick, though, is it seems like that mental barrier of breaking, like the way that people just learn tricks and just keep doing it until they. How much would you pay me if I could do a uh, varial flip in three tries? Pay you? Yeah. I don't know, whatever I got in my pocket. What's that? Oh, like I think that's bucks? a few bucks. I think that's a, <laughs> a bet I'm not willing to lose. <laughs> You're not taking that one? No. For some reason, I just have that one. Yeah. I don't know why. But uh, we were thinking, A-Frame, we drained this, or they drained this pool out, and we were going to go over there and shoot a, a gutter drunk music video. Yeah. Uh, I'm down. Get First one ever. All the boys in there. Yeah. You can bring my production camera over. Whoa, some, dude. Some easy. black and white, you know? <laughs> Mississippi mud. Correct. Yes. But uh, no, I think that's a great idea. What's the, what's the deal with the gutter drunk stuff? I'm trying to see you guys play live. I missed the show in oh, AC. June 7th, dude. You got to be there. Trying to harvest when? in the pit. Yeah. June 7th? You know what I mean? 7th. Atlantic going to be out of town. Wait, June 7th. Se- oh, f- yeah, but you're already hurt. Like, God forbid you get hurt again at a gutter drunk show. I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> yeah, and the it last time. It just be I- by accident. 
Or on purpose? Maybe. Ben's told me he was too old last show. I asked if he was going. Yeah. So he's too old for that. I go, I go, I don't go biannually. I usually go annually. Yeah. I mean, I love it, but I definitely have more good old guy vibes in my life. I'll tell you what, dude, if I, like, I don't go to shows either, you know? But when you're playing them, I'll be at Hopfest. Yeah. Hopfest 2024. Were you there last year? No, nah, but you told me all about it. Sounds like it's going to be a good one this year. Dude, oh, it's, yeah. It's kind of the best uh, festival, would you it's say? It's a festival. Best festival in South Jersey, for I mean, sure. there's festivities. And it's free. Yeah. Art, music. Free is for me. Good vibes. Yeah. I love it. How many people are playing again? <clears throat> I think I'm going to open up. I'm trying to get a band together. Me and Big Paul had practice. Guys, uh, hard to pin down, though. Yeah? <laughs> Worms? <laughs> yeah, worms. I was just thinking, like, stay out of your hair unless you want to. Like, like I appreciate that Gutter Drunk will back up for me, but, like, I'd rather make it easier on you, you know what I mean? And just have, like, Big Paul, Big Paul ready to rip. I mean, here's the thing, though, is uh, I'm just, I'm always just trying to have fun. And yeah. it's always fun just jamming with you. The thing is, though, like, gutter drunk's so good. I, I don't want you to, like, not focus on it. I mean, the thing with gutter drunk is we never focused on it. Oh, That's perfect. why it took eight years for all that stuff. I was going to say, how old are some of those tracks? Dude, eight years, something like that. Well, Dirty Heroin was the first release ever. Yeah. They released it in January 2016. I remember distinctly because it was on... Uh, SoundCloud and uh guy's got a good memory. Our friend Frank Chase was trying to rip on it, be like, quality's terrible. I'm dude, like, dude, it's dude, I love it's so good. I think I listened to it ten I times. I love the demo shit. Like when stuff yeah. sounds too produced, it's just yeah. it's especially for a punk band. Like what do you want? You know? Dude, I listened to it ten times in a row and I was just blasting yeah. like dirty heroin. I loved it. Right off the rip. I knew it was a hit. And yeah. it is. I'm psyched that it's on uh, Spotify because like honestly I didn't even heard everything because you couldn't yeah. I mean, I'm sure some stuff was on YouTube or whatever, but yeah. it was just I never knew how to, like, find it. It was basically just in Ben's vlogs. Yeah. So you, you know? never went digging? Not – I didn't realize, like – I mean, Mackie told me later that it, you could get it on YouTube, but I didn't know. There was this guy back in the day called Johnny Hobo and the Freight Trains, mm-hmm. and he literally never uploaded his own music ever. You'd have to go digging. Yeah. Like, it would be on, like, one channel for, like, five days, and then, like, like there's there's stuff that's, like – 18 years old of his on YouTube that just it sounds like absolute garbage but it's like the original Dirty Heroin like it's so good wow. it's so bad but it's so you can f- is he a local guy? no nah, he's from like Ohio or oh okay. okay you can just feel it though remember the days of like Mediafire and like LimeWire and Napster whoa dude, Mediafire back. dude it was so sick cause you, I feel like you could just like find a bunch of music Dude, yeah, and then, like, never, you download just, that you one have, Nirvana song, and it's not even Nirvana. I was just going to say, dude, <laughs> these geniuses figured out how to make their songs Eminem songs. Yeah. And then you would download a random song and be like, I don't think this is Eminem. Yeah. Dude. Classic. Those were the days. I have these old hard drives I want to try to get fixed, because, like, it was, like, old one with the fan, and I, they were just loaded with music that I downloaded, and it's just all, I can't, can't get it to mount. Dude, I wish I could remember, um... This, the one song I'm thinking of that was under Eminem, and it was everyone had it from Limar, and it was just like it just totally it was not an Eminem yeah. song at yeah. all. I could get that thing to mount. I tried. You could get it to mount, just a couple side slap, dude. I feel like I gotta send it into somebody who's charging me a lot of money, like thousand dollars. Put it in like those like anti-static. Oh, you know like, what? Boxes. Hey, Frank? What's that? I have um, I have an S. If you have an SSD reader, the big yeah, you could. Take the whole thing apart. I opened it up and tried. I don't oh, know. you did? Yeah, we'll it talk. Didn't mount? Nah, I couldn't get it to mount. Wow. I don't know if it's a lost cause, but like, I, you know, I mean, I'm just like hundreds and hundreds of gigs of music, like old demos and stuff that you just aren't going to find. Really? Yeah, it sucks. But you wouldn't even go digging for gutter drunk. <sighs> I mean, I only just met Will like a year, not even a year ago. Hawaii trip was really the first, our first bonding experience. True. Oh boy, Think but about was that, that a bond? And experience. bond you did. Yeah. And we did. Yeah. What was it? Oh, it took a couple missed clips and then we were boys, you know? What do you think was like, what were your highs and lows of the Hawaii trip, A frame? The lows? Yeah. 
I mean, it did give me a sec on the list. I guess the highs were just watching, like, you guys push yourself, especially you, Will. Like, that was sick. Yeah. Because I'm just sitting on the beach kind of just watching it happen. But, you know, I mean, it's it's just, like, intimidating out there, even if you're not surfing, sort of. So it's cool to, like, just be in the mecca yeah, and watch someone who'd never – I mean, you'd never been out there, right? That was your first time. Oh, yeah. I got to go back, though. That was I don't know, awesome. but, but lows, like, it'd be hard to find a low. Not even when you Maybe broke just the at the surf. <laughs> what, broke the coffee pot? Yeah. Yeah. But I think there's footage of. <laughs> I think there's okay. footage that would, that would dispel that. What? Pretty you, sure you're the you one who broke it. <laughs> Frick, dude. And then never even replaced well, it, you, dude. Where's, I mean, did Jamie ever say you're... anything? <laughs> because what he did was he just blamed it on me and you, Will. <laughs> Freaking no, guy, a, dude. He's actually really cool. Like <laughs> he, he acts like he's not gonna be, and then he's like, oh, I don't care. Like I've broken a lot of his stuff. <laughs> I just figured you just blame but it on us. But he breaks my stuff too. He like backed into my jet ski trailer when he was here and just shattered the light. And he's like, Oh, dude. <laughs> and just oh, uh, so you actually, you know, that's why you didn't care about the coffee pot. Yeah, you just thinking about your, well, it's yeah, part it was, of life. Well, it's an accident. I mean, at least you didn't light anything on fire. <laughs> but I don't know. Lowe's maybe would be. Just maybe that the ways the ways were like good, but I thought it could have maybe been a little better. But oh, that's you're kinda, one of those guys. But that's the, but that's the that's me pulling for straws. Like it really was a pretty not sick meeting trick, Michael trip overall. Oh Michael who the car ride to Waikiki that was. Oh. Oh my Are we gonna go there? <laughs> no. I mean, we can, dude. I don't give a shit, dude. It's so funny I, you bring that up because I was thinking about that earlier. Like in that car ride. When he was just like playing his music over and over and over and over and over again. Yeah. I like, there was like a part of me, I was like, wait, maybe this guy is legit. Should I show him some of my stuff? Dude. And, like, and then I was thinking about it earlier. I was like, what an idiot. Why did I even waste my time? Uh, that for, guy is so full of shit. For dude. the audience, uh, short, long story, really, 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 really long story short. Uh, he told us that he produced for, this guy told us he produced for Kanye and then. He literally put a track on of someone mumbling over a beat, like, <laughs> and we were like, "That's not Kanye, is it?" And he's like, "Nah, but like that's what that's where Kanye would sing." That's the that's pla- his writing. That's the placeholder. Process. That's the placeholder, <laughs> that's, right? No, it's his writing process. Yeah, <laughs> because he doesn't want anybody to steal his words, so oh he just gosh. like mumbles. Oh, yeah, he mumbled. That's what you're right. It's exactly allegedly. What he said. So that was hilarious. But did he actually? Good time. Did he actually? Sitting in a room with Kanye, though. that's the jury stuff. That was so funny when you like started digging. <laughs> well, because it was you too, never actually met, dude. Kanye. Well, we were stuck in traffic, and it was like two hours of listening to the same yeah. song. I mean, at some point, you know, I don't know. At some time, point, you got to find out if he actually uh, knows yeah, it or not. Yeah, I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> like, let's like let's get to the bottom of it. I mean, whatever, dude. It I think got. But what about what about you? What was your low? My low. I knew what your problem. Maybe I knew what your high was. Um, <laughs> his high was what? Now his, his high, high was, was catching the way it made his low was watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true, kinda. That's so true. <laughs> oh, that dude. was good. Frick. Frick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what, what was your high? What are you sorry about that? <laughs> that I thought about that? <laughs> that I thought that. Yeah, but we were all thinking it. Oh, man. I was watching that footage the other day. My ways weren't that good either. Don't worry. Uh, uh, no, you, dude, it, you had some really sick ones. That, well, we're going to double We're gonna double down next year, so nothing yeah. to worry about there. I feel like I need a Hawaii trip for redemption. Yeah. Well, dude, this is one thing about surfing. Not to get too philosophical here, but, dude, this isn't even philosophical, honestly, but, like... People watch the videos and they're like, oh, dude, why weren't you guys charging harder? But really, like, dude, it takes, like, years to get used to a surf spot. Yeah. Like, we only surf good out here because we've been surfing out here for 25 years. Yeah, we cut our teeth here. Like, when you go to a new spot, especially in Hawaii, when it's big, powerful, and there's a lot of people that you don't know. Well, hold on. Let me stop you there, too, because we went there kind of at the totally wrong time, too. Yeah. Like, the whole pipe pro. What the fact? Every surfer in the world was on the North Shore. Yeah. Oh, you mean just for being in the in the lineups and being uh, able yeah. to like? The yeah, funny yeah, part yeah. is too, I didn't even know. Yeah, we didn't know. Right. I booked it. Isn't that crazy? I had no yeah. idea. I've Quite done nice. that a couple times actually. You just it's so sick good watching at it. it though. Yeah. You just so, so good, good at, at caddying, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I knew my shot was coming. Yeah. 
But yeah, dude, it takes so long to get comfortable. So now that you go back, you're going to like, we're going to show up and you'll be like, oh, I've been on this beach before. I've seen what these waves look like. Like Rocky Point, you'll go out and you'll have a blast because oh, it's yeah. not like, oh, what's this? What? Where's the shallow spot? Can I go yeah. right here? Can I go left here? Like, there's so many variables when you're first going into it. I think I think next year, like, board selection is going to be key, too. Yeah, even for me, dude, I had, like, my East Coast boards. That's what I'm thinking. Rocker is a, th- is a thing there. Yeah, like, you dude. actually need rocker in the nose of your board. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, lot to learn, dude. Lot to learn. That's one of the cool things about surfing, though. Yeah. You never stop learning. Yeah. And then, like, why am I, like, go out there on, like, a board that I could actually... <laughs> Right, yeah. Partially my fault, mostly uh, Zeke's fault. Yeah. yeah but blames. what we should have done is not been so hyped up. We should have just driven calmly to Zeke's, picked up the big board, and driven back. Yeah. But we were too, like, yeah, freaked out. I mean, I was so. freaked out when I saw those sets washing through. And well, then luckily it took me two hours to get a wave. By the time I got a wave, it was half the size. Yeah, but next right. time you're just going to do... Um, the I trick. Power right out. You go right out and you take the biggest yeah, thing you exactly. say. Yeah. And then if you wipe out, you're like, that wasn't bad. If you make it, you're like, that, that was, was epic, yeah. yeah. Yeah, next time, dude. Well, Guerrero has a board, too. Dude. Because you could have used his I could have. His big wave board. Yeah. He has multiple boards. <clears throat> next we'll, time. We'll be ready. I'll next. tell you what, though. Like, we'll be ready. Ju- the board selection thing, though, like, once I got on that bigger board, my whole life changed. Oh, yeah. Like, I just... I felt so much better. And imagine if you were on a 9.6. Dude, that board's only an 8.0. Yeah. Yeah, like that, that's still the wrong board. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's small, dude. Yeah, way like too small. Like, that guy that was getting them was on a 10-foot board. Yeah. And, dude, you should, like, his nose was like... Yeah. Like, a, yeah. like the magic carpet. Dude. Yeah, dude. Like, yeah. so, like, he's not going to nosedive. Yeah. We're on a flat 8.0. Dude. You know what I mean? Like We did it, though. That was great. That was, that was great. Amazing. Part of the beauty of it, dude, just being undergone and scared, dude. Yeah. And then the first day, like, when we pedaled out at back door, I have nightmares about... Oh, yeah. Like, just the regret. You know what I mean? Like, I had I had a wave, like, a window, you know what I mean? And then, like, I just let Carissa Moore go. <laughs> well, dude, if you don't act, someone's taking it. Yeah, That's it's one like, of uh... The, uh... My biggest regret of that trip. And she made it, though. It was like a oh, sick yeah. one. I could have been me, dude. Dude, my love of that trip, though, is the first day I wanted Will to surf back door, and it wasn't that packed, but off the wall is empty. We could have paddled off the wall yeah. and gotten, like, five or six waves before anyone got out, and we went to back door where other people were out. Yeah. That was my low. Mm. <clears throat> or when you broke the coffee pot. Yeah. I was going to say not being able to get the beetle nut styled. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I just thought of that. I forgot about <laughs> this. Dude. Or, or there's actually when you went to the gym, and it was like super. It was like that day. But who goes to the gym in Hawaii? <laughs> though I know it's kind of crazy. But he yeah, went to the gym and he's like, yeah, dude. He's like, you, yeah. Well, it was the day like the swell was like basically flat. I had to yeah. get my and chest he, to the bar. And he was yeah. like, oh, you guys paddle out. So I went and took that the wrong board out of Jamie's garage. Oh yeah. And oh yeah. Thinking we'd be Trouble. we'd paddle out the pipeline and it's like waist high and I'd get a couple and I'm still getting freaking. It's like Nathan's mom and his wife are just taking everything. We can't even catch a wave. It's waist high. It's getting drilled. Dude. I'm thinking, oh, dude, they're out there just regulating the peak. Can't even catch a wave. It's waist high. It's like yeah. a foot high. <laughs> but no, nah, it was it was sick. But yeah, the beetle nut thing, I guess, is my low point, you know. I think um, we'll get you at Keiki next time, dude. Because I, I have no desire to surf there probably ever again. So, How about like the... It was we like the second nice or third day. There. I think it was the second day. We were at off the wall, and it was just like kind of head high. And then, like every twenty minutes, like those bombs would oh, yeah. come through, and just getting hit on the head with them was pretty cool. Oh yeah, when you got hammered. Remember that? I think I was at rock piles, but we ended up like paddling up to off the wall, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple good clips of you like learning your lessons out there. Yeah. And it's like instinctual too. Because you just, like, you don't realize coming from the East Coast that it's going to be a 20-wave set. <laughs> you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, cool. Three waves, I'll be good. Like, yeah. you're in the inside for eight minutes. Just yeah. Drowning. Yeah. Getting but that was pounded. awesome. Yeah. I think maybe, like, I mean, we can go back, but the the annual team trip could definitely go somewhere else. 
where we might be able to get bigger waves because the or like bigger tubes because there might be less people. Yeah, like France or something. Mexico. That sounds like a good one. Mexico, maybe. Frick, I don't. You got your passport? I do, but I'm a little. Imagine me. Oh, you're talking passport. about this guy. I don't I'm imagine in it. Yeah, that might be all I ever do. Oh, though. imagine. <laughs> Frick, you don't got your passport yet? Not yet. Come on, bro. I know, I got well, I got mine. If, you, if I got mine, you can get yours. I think they can help you out at the post office, dude. Yeah. That's why I sent you that that's picture. Where I, that's where I, I did my, I got my what picture. What do you there. do? You go up, you just, ask for pictures. You yeah. don't even have to, I mean, I guess. They the, mail the pictures to Atlantic exactly. City for you, You right? just fill the form out, after, and they take your photo, and it's, it's done. And then you pick you your passport them, up. You pay the money. They mailed it to me. Oh, Hold on, so nice. I can just go to the post office. Yeah. I don't have to do anything. You got to just make sure that they actually take photos at the at the post office because some are the smaller ones. They like they don't do so it there, but just Margate does it. Okay. So yeah. if I go to Margate post office, yes, I can just knock it out in one shot. Fill and the paperwork out, spend it's the money. One hundred and eighty bucks, right? It but, might be a little bit more for you because it's your first one. Like I was renewing one, so. But your passport's good for ten years or twenty? Ten, right? Ten years. So eighteen bucks a year. Yeah, but I think like if you get like 10 people together it's like 200 <laughs> bucks to go to the wave pool so it's like come on dude i was thinking about this i but it never happened i was hoping that they were going to invite me back to palm springs and i could surprise the boys but they never uh, invited me. So what happened i don't know dude i'd pay well more than 180 bucks for well, like a stand up tube i was one just one. Just like well, you ain't get one of those at a stand week. up. I know, but um, what I'm saying is for the passport to go to like Mexico, stand oh, up tube. Oh, dude, yeah. Get shot out. I'd probably pay. Oh, so you're saying the passport's more valuable than the wave pool? Yeah, if I had like fifteen hundred bucks to my name, I'd probably pay a thousand bucks for that. Wave pool, short term, uh, success. Passport, long term success. Yeah. But you could do both. For sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. I think you you can accomplish better. But I think if we went nice a nice little trip Don't back to Selena Cruz, yeah, some of those rights, probably get a couple days. Wait, where? Uh, just uh, mainland Mexico. Okay. Some crazy point breaks and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> but dude, I'm telling you, France is like the. France is. I was thinking that's what was Jersey. gonna happen before you got hurt. It's Jersey every day. It's a Jersey swell every day. Yeah. And it's just barrels and barrels and barrels. It's crazy. Weren't you kind of plotting before you hurt the arm? Yeah. That's a, that's I feel a like shame. France, though, like, I don't know how I would swing France without bringing uh, the my family. Yeah. You could swing it. Just Tell them it's for work, dude. You're on the team. Yeah. <clears throat> work trip. Well, if we got an Airbnb, yeah. we had a nice house. Everyone was kicking it. Everyone could go. Yeah. Right? Why not? These are the kind of ideas that I like. Yeah, but then you got to make the trip two weeks, so it's worth it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, France, yeah. if France was, like, France short is, little plane ride away, you know what I mean? It's closer than Hawaii. Is it? Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. It's one seven-hour plane ride. What? Yeah, you're laughing. Just across the pond. Dude, it's the pond. It doesn't even make sense, like, mathematically when you're looking at a globe. I dude. don't want to get into this. Yeah. Thing. Let's not start, a friend. I mean, we kind of brushed it over a little bit at the end of the last one. Yeah. <sighs> what do you think, Will? I don't think. What's the tattoo life <laughs> been looking like? It. What's the tattoo life been looking like for you? You been busy? Um, steady. I don't really like being busy. When you're busy, you can't like goof off. You know, when you're busy, it's harder to like go surfing when there's waves. Nice. Skate the pool. Wrench on your cars and fish. Yeah. You catch any flatties yet? Oh, dude, I got to show you a picture. My kid. The day I saw you. Oh, yeah. Dude. You're grooming him up, dude. He's a little legend already. Dude, this guy caught the biggest flounder I've ever seen in my life. Really? Yeah. It was insane. Insane, dude. Just like this year? A couple days ago. No shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. you got to show it to me. Let me see it. You got it on you? Uh, Did you blur the background? I know. Dude, I don't, don't be really want A-frame right knowing about that zone. Yeah, but he's from Cape May. He doesn't even. He doesn't even like know. <laughs> I'm slowly way. creeping my way up, dude. Up I was here. at the. I was at the local today. Yeah. What's he's the in local? Avalon already? The angles were, dude. You should have seen it. it was fucking... 
Well, the Just wave. Lined up. I was actually fishing, but I should have been surfing. Really? Yeah, it was good. I don't believe that. There's I no do. waves out yeah. there. It's probably blown out now. You got, you got to see it earlier. You had to be on it. Yeah. But we were catching blues in the surf, and there was guys getting barreled. I don't know. No way. Me and B-Money. Barreled on a boogie board? No, on a surfboard, dude. I what don't mean? believe it, dude. Whoa, that's a good one. Dude. What is that, like 24? Exactly, you nailed it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Looks good, right, Ben? Couple fr- a couple seen fried it. flounder he sandwiches. Show, he doesn't show the spot. Well, ben always freaking, he belittles me with the fishing. It's what are you crazy, dude. About? But if I brought him fillets, he'd be stoked. What was oh, that thing? Dude, the mic's oh, whoa. Up. What'd you do with it? Cut it up and ate it. No way. Yeah. How do you like to eat it? Your flounder. Um, That's epic. Dude, my girl just fries it. She's really good at cooking. But then the Mexican dude's at my job. Look at Ray Sky. It makes like the ceviche, dude. That's what I do with the weak fish. Just with lime juice. Yeah. Super easy. That's sick. Ray Scott's looking young in the background, dude. Is he, he in the back like of Grom? He's like all shaved up. Uh, he looks like Shaggy. Pretty soon, though, it's going to be, uh, th- after this weekend, it's gonna, just going to be some more traffic out there. Oh, uh, as far as, yeah. Dude, <laughs> you know, uh, dude, we wrote a new song last night. Really? Uh, called uh, Invasion of the COVID Surfing Babies. <laughs> yeah. It's just getting ridiculous. So how often do you guys practice? Twice a week. Nice. Invasion of the... So you guys are writing new songs? Yeah. It's gutter drunk, dude. That's it. World-class talent. Yeah. Big Overamped vibes. underachievers. June 7th? June 7th. I'm going to try to be there. Yeah. Ooh, what else is going on? Well, I got it. I'm, I'm working, but I'm it, not just during the day, so I'm going to come straight to the to the venue, I think. Just call out of work like an adult. It's <laughs> a good one, huh? There was a video clip of B. Col- Brian Coulter with his shirt off, and he had like, he used to have this one ha- patch of hair on his chest, and he called it his chesties. But there is a clip, and he's like on the boardwalk in Atlantic City or in the street or something. He, he just yells across, June 7th. Atlantic City, baby. Check out these chesties. <laughs> no it's way. Just like, lo- it's just like in my Locking filing cabinet, apparently. Chesticles. And he doesn't, someone brings up June 7th. But I remember having the clip and just laughing hysterically at it. <laughs> I'm sure he would remember it. Oh, my God. He's a menace. <laughs> Might have to find it. Yeah. June 7th, Anchor Rock Club. Atlantic City, New Jersey. Check out these chesticles. Yes, Reckless sir. Randy and the Wash Ups. Who else is, oh, nice. is that he's oh, playing yeah. with you? The Wash Ups. Yeah. Just two bands? Yeah. Is the Wash Ups is the guy that picked us up from the airport, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. John. Jay. 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 Oh, what? After the trip? Yeah. I didn't know. That's, he plays music. Oh, yeah. Dude, that that guy was nice. Rip. Dude, we were so tired. <laughs> Not even the United Lounge could cure that 10 hour red eye. I was just depressed. Yeah. It is tough when you leave. The boys left early to make you feel better. I know. Or because it was going to rain for three days straight, but. I've, it never I've, cleaned I up. I mean, there, I've it? been telling myself you just left early because you guys love me and your trip wouldn't have been the same without me. It really wouldn't have, though. Imagine me just surfing by myself. Brutal. Yeah. Not I mean, you same. wouldn't have been by yourself on the North Shore. <laughs> That's for sure, but. You've been with Zeke for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and like a thousand other people. I'm still pretty stoked about. <clears throat> Dude, my high point literally might have been the Valsey Land double up that I got. Oh yeah. Like I've always dreamed of getting one of those and I've never gotten like Funny you say that my low point was Valsey Land. <laughs> yeah, you were not having that that session. Dude, like well, you came in you're like that was full on jag. I'm gonna say I got two good waves somehow out there, but that was not Dude, they, I didn't never seen a crowd like that. It like, was not well, easy. Well, because when you, anytime you see that on a video, it, it, like you just see people pattern over the, the shoulder, but when you see the entire lineup, there's yeah. people everywhere. It's crazy. Like, the whole way in. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. That wave is like, I don't know. It's not gnarly. Well, enough, but if you were by yourself, though, Will, don't you think like you'd a, have a that's different? That's like opinion? a wave for like uh, the chicks, dude. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's fucking. Oh, yeah. What if uh, it's like not an square excuse, enough? Dude. Like super soft. Come on. It doesn't get big enough. You got to show them that freeze frame, Ben, when you were locked in on that one. I mean, that thing was that sick. That thing didn't look square? It was sick. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not bad looking. No. Too easy, but though. But if you're the freaking... If you're the guy? The cabins. Kind of was the guy. The guy yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get a wave out there. Outer piles? Oh, 
He was an outer pile guy. Dude, I we never went out. I was talking outer piles the whole trip. Softies. Yeah. How funny is it, like, thinking back, though? Like, thinking back, like, oh, yeah, I would have been out there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, the whole time, I'm just, like, scared. What's funny is, like, some people live their whole life like that. Oh, like, yeah. They just, it's armchair quarterbacks. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> just like, dude, why didn't why weren't you deeper? It's like, dude, you couldn't <laughs> even have made it out. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? The best. Yeah. The greatest. So you were surfing the other day? Yeah. How was it? Fun. People yeah, were talking. I, Brig? Uh, you a Brig guy? Whoa. Yeah, well, you, Easy, no, I was down in uh, Ocean City, dude. Cape May County. North Street guy? I mean, whatever street you want to believe, <laughs> dude. Um, People were talking. Yeah. People were talking. Cracking lips? Yeah, I got two DMs. No way. Yeah. Alex D and Greg Alcina. No way. Yeah. Talking talking Will up. Yeah. Saying he's ripping. I got ripping. a text that Pavs was one at seven. One feet at seven? Looking pretty good. Really? Dude, I saw. Clean little. It's coming in. East? East swell? Uh huh. Yeah. That's probably the same How day. How about you're Pete? I saw Pete. That's the day I was talking Dude, about. I, or it was like one It was like one and a half at seven. Uh, his buddy, Matt, my boy Matt. I mean, I armchair quarterback that thing. I, I, w- I said I would have made it, but. Fuck. Where's Pete's shot? Uh. It might be on his uh, Instagram. It might have been. Oh uh, no, it was a story. Though. But you guys I got been a text. The slam o updates I've been posting. Oh yeah, they're psychotic. The sand is all time. A frame, a frame. I'm not even kidding. As a boogie boarder, dude. Oh, what? One feet at seven. One and a half at seven. Or wait, look at the text. I could be wrong. What do you call it was, that it was ice small. cream or something? <laughs> Snow. Oh, cream? Mississippi mud. Yeah. <laughs> ice cream. One point five feet at six. Oh, was soft serve. Yeah. When was that? I don't know. Look back in the text. I've surfed it like five feet at nine smaller than that. Isn't that crazy? It's all about wow. the direction. That's what I'm saying. Hey, frame, if I was you and Is I boogie. Is that guy on a surf? You're saying I should be at i uh, I'm claiming El Slamo, dude. No joke, A frame, has been this big and absolutely a There's that little bar wedges. out to the front left of the jetty, I noticed. Like when I was there the, after I was here last week. It was probably lower tide. Yeah. High tide, it's all on the inside, heaving. Really? It's yeah, it good, was dude. the tide. The tide was low. It's enough. good. I would have been surfing there all week if I could surf. But... Oh, I lied. One, one and a half at six. Wow. West wind, baby. West? That's what, I don't know. That's just what he texted me. Place likes West? That's a secret spot you're not telling us about. Yeah. Isn't it? it could be a jetty on the left side of that, <laughs> that wash, maybe. Gee. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Forecast is looking bleak, boys. Yeah, it's not good. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's about to be Memorial Day. It's gonna, we're about to get flooded. We're tr- we're are, you, tr- are you out there? What's uh? I think you. I think you're good by that day. That's tomorrow. No, oh no, that's no, next no. week. Yeah. I have my doctor's appointment on Friday. <clears throat> For what? The aren't update. Yeah, the update. You gonna know? How's Saturday looking? Because these there's no way I could pull off the El Slamo Classic on a weekday. We're gonna have to do. That's a Saturday. No, uh, it's the waiting period's on. Ah, oh. because there's sand in there. Saturday. The boys are hard to wrangle though. Set like this Saturday. Just any, yeah, one to two. Bleak. Two to tree. Couple two to tree. Oh, there's all kinds Ooh, of stuff. Oh, dude, that kind of looks right there. Like that one. Wait, what's the count, boys? Ooh, two feet at seven south. Oh my God, three mile an hour wind. That might be our day. Look at that. What's this wind gonna do? Southwest. That's not good, but. <clears throat> we'll be yeah, done by we're, then. We're in it. Oh, I think we're in it. That's I mean, the that's first. gonna change. No, that's um. That was six one, wasn't it? That was six one. Yeah. Heck yeah. Boogie's allowed in this thing. Yeah, you can come. Fresh. You allowed to watch? <laughs> <laughs> hey, got a camera for me to stand no, behind? You're in there, dude. I I don't discriminate. Never have. Never will. Boogies, stand-up paddleboards, longboards. What was the one? I thought the one softboards. you did it in the past, though. Like, I'm thinking of that clip of Moose getting washed off. Wasn't that Oh, that was colder? Ethan. Ethan G. Oh, that was Dunn. Ethan? Yeah, I mean, it's it's it used to be in the fall, and then it migrated into the winter, and then it migrated into the summer because I wait. So, like, I never have it annually. So, like, it just migrates. It's just whenever you feel yeah. like Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even know if we had one in 2023. Or maybe we did. Yeah, we did. That was uh, at the point, like secret spot. Yeah, 
this year. Yeah. Because the, the funny thing is everyone chimes in in the group chat. And it's like, so like three feet at seven or three feet at six would be all time. It would be like this big, wedge is perfect. And everyone's like, well, it's going to be so small. So I'm like, all right, I'll have it when it's nine foot. And then no. Yeah, like, everyone's just, then, it's just, a, yeah. it's a mess. Yeah. I'll just surf slam chest high by myself, <laughs> like perfect wedges. And then yeah. I'll have the classic when it's You would think foot. that people listen to you by now or at this spot, right? Hey, man, I, you know, I experienced that on all levels. You would think that people would listen to me on trips. Hey, friend. You know what I'm saying? But they always have something to say. It's a good one. <laughs> I'm like, I've been here before, I promise. And you're like, dude, I, I just know. let you, I just let you cook when we're out there. Are you kidding me? You think? Yeah, you do. Have I? Co- I haven't questioned you. At least maybe. Okay, probably have. You're yelling at me that one time. Yeah. Well, I said we should have been at freaking Donnie's. Here. Chef said we should have been at Donnie's, and then we went to Donnie's. What happened? Was it pumping? Yeah. Ugh. That was when we were feeling tired, feeling sorry, feeling sorry for ourselves, though. Was that like? That was that nighttime session. Ooh, that one? That was the, the day bugs? before the good day. With the bugs? Yeah. We probably shouldn't have gone. We <laughs> saved it for the morning, right? <laughs> right? I thought that you was the t- in your vlog you were saying that was the the, uh, the session that saved the trip. Which one? What trip was this? This was our Bahamas trip. Bahamas. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. one you were supposed to be on. Which one saved the Passport, trip? Passport, dude. I don't know. I thought it was like, because we were kind of feeling sorry, tired, and then we just got in the car. Oh, it saved the day for sure. Yeah. But then it was like stoked to go into the next day, and then that's when I think we fought. We scored, right? I'm over it, though. I'm done putting pressure on myself on these trips, dude. I'm always like thinking I have to score every day. I just got to well, be. because you're like a machine, dude. You're still in that like. I have to be more. 2016 of a... mentality, which isn't bad, though, because I honestly think. <clears throat> For me personally, even though it's like a lot sometimes to be on the beach all day, but like that's the reason why you're there. What are we going to do? Sit around and like drink coffee all day? Jeez, Eventually, it's just kind of a. Well, because especially when you get to the end of those, some of those trips where you feel like you are kind of burnt out, like if you don't keep going, then you're just like, and then at that yeah, point, you might just, just get on a plane because yeah, true. it does true. like, you got to just keep your mind busy or else you're just, you start thinking about home. Wouldn't it be interesting? I always think about like if I never got married. Um, or like I didn't have Dennis. Like, what if I just like kept going? Like I just never went home. Never settled. Like, what if I never bought a house? Never settled. Never, and I was just just going. Like how it would be lonely, but it would be wild. I was just that thinking how happy. happy I'd be. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a wild lifestyle, boys. Just like if I just never went home. That's Channel a good lifestyle. Channel probably be cranking, huh? It's a good lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. Channel yeah. be cranking. Babe. Got to tell her, dude. We're changing things. What's going on? This guy needs acupuncture on his left arm. He just emailed me. For you? No, him. I don't know why he was sharing that with me. Who's this? Uh, some guy just got the email. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's a good one, huh? But, yeah, dude, I'm looking forward to it. Well, <clears throat> I think, like, just for the sake of the Bahamas, you got to get your passport. Oh, dude. That's the easiest trip. Dude, it was that travel was nothing. It was nothing, and, we, and it's usually easier because we don't have to sleep over. And we scored we every day. We talking about it when we were in Nap- or Nassau? Yeah, yeah, well, when we slept over yeah. on the way there. And we scored every day except one day. And then the one day it was just massive. And you could really, if you looked hard enough, you could find something. Yeah. But we scored every day. Every day. Well, I f- especially that, that storm day, I feel like you would have surfed more if, like, someone oh, was if there I had with someone. you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. I would have been on. Well, well just some of the novel, the spots that, like, work, because some of them were just honestly out of control. Like, so, like, he wasn't going to. Yeah, but, spots, he's, but I'm talking, he's like, so even. twisted, though, that, like, he wouldn't <laughs> want to surf, but he would convince me to go surfing with him just to see me out there <laughs> no, no yeah no because i do want to surf i'm just scared yeah <laughs> but then like i know if someone's like more scared, more scared than you or or as scared as me we're good right oh uh, yeah but um oh, and then you say? and then you get back to the beach and you're like that was nothing <laughs> it does not always happen though yeah <clears throat> i mean i the crazy thing is i've never died surfing it's true dude and, dude, I was, I was, uh, you know the one morning out front when it was just those crazy rights cranking and I was scared of sharks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had someone out there with me, I wouldn't have been scared. Like, yeah. I was literally <clears throat> scared to sit for long periods of time. So yeah. I, I didn't have the patience to wait for sets because it's like deep, deep, deep blue water. 
and then shallow reef right in front of it. And it's like this vast contrast of deep to shallow. And like, you just want to get on a wave because it feels like you're in such deep water. And if I had a buddy or two out there, it would be whatever. But it just plays in the back. Sure. Well, and like it's a it quarter mile out away from everybody. It doesn't like, help too. And like those, those two free divers were on the jetty uh, or on the, that, that hunker reef I was standing on. They were like, this spot's pretty, pretty fishy. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone says that down there, though. Yeah, but that guy's got a house right in front of it. So yeah. you would think he'd probably, I mean, if he's... He knows a, something. Yeah. I mean, every spot's probably fishy, right? But, yeah, you don't want to hear that. Was that the day that the the swell was wrapping around that second piece? Is that the day you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, like when I was getting those long rights, yeah. but I kept missing the big set because I didn't have enough patience to wait for the set. And then the sets were breaking way wide. Yeah. And then, like, you just end up in no man's land over there. Yeah, it's thousand, just a little weird. In a thousand fathoms. <laughs> it's just dude, a little weird. Dude, Billy, you could have been How big's a fathom? I think it's six feet. Six feet? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there is a thousand fathoms in the blue hole, which is kind of crazy. Is that what a fathom is? I feel like I should know that. Or not a thousand. There's a hundred. I think it's still deep. It's deep. Deep enough. Six or seven hundred feet that one spot is. Deep enough for some big fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Six feet. How long? But you just Fortnite? think I'm an idiot, a frame? No, I just was double. That's why we got the phone. Is double check, you know. How long's a fortnight, a frame? A fortnight? Yeah. I don't know. Two weeks. No way. You got any the, special the, ones the, for us? The more you know. <clears throat> what do I got? Any special topics? Let's see. No, like learning stuff, but topics work too. Learning stuff. What are we trying to learn today? Like a fathom, a fortnight. How much is a yard? Three three point four feet. Three point four feet? Yeah. That's a yard? Yeah. I think you're right. This is also a yard. Cubic yard. I don't know. Would you multiply it by three? Frick. Eighty one plus twelve. It's two hundred and one US liquid gallons. <laughs> 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 like Imagine. a gallon of ambergris dude so here this oh, is actually dude. something i was thinking about with it being <laughs> memorial day is like oh. what's your biggest pet peeve about when all the people show up because mm. i know it's a necessary evil like the older i've got i've realized like you would kind of need this tourism to yeah. live around here but like obviously it's kind of a jag at times so what i would you? say on my old street in margate was the parking oh the parking was atrocious but now, tucked back here in the marshes. You're just laughing back here? I don't have to go out there if I don't want to, dude. Yeah. Is the, is the heights getting up? Yeah. Because all the houses fill up? Yeah. And then that light probably gets back. But what would be, yeah, what would be your biggest pet peeve, Will? Um, it, I was just thinking about this. On my way here, I stopped to get a coffee. <clears throat> and um, it was just like a bunch of people in there, and I was just pissed. I had to like remind myself, like <laughs> this is nothing these people yet. People are the only reason that this establishment right, exists is even there. What, so it's like, all right, all right. What kind of what Relax. coffee did you got? Where did you go? Just Ventnor coffee. Um, oh, V Heights. Yeah, dude, is it gonna be hard for you to not go through that Starbucks drive-through when they put that thing in there? Dude, um, <laughs> me and my girl have this thing going on. I can't wait for Burger King, dude. Yeah, I love their coffee. <laughs> You like, their, you like their coffee? <laughs> no. Oh. Dude, I'm so. going to make a claim right now. <laughs> Top five favorite coffees is McDonald's iced coffee. Yeah? For me. It's so good. And, like, dude, I hate, <clears throat> I hate to say this, but in my opinion, and I don't want this opinion, Starbucks has the best iced coffee out of anybody ever. It's, it's so good. That has been your claim. Yeah. Like... It's it's just got that perfect bite, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Just that burntness to it. Yeah, I don't know. It tastes like berries or something. I would say my biggest pet peeve is the no turn signal. Yeah. Oh. That kills me, dude. So you would hate driving behind me. <laughs> I've driven with you, yeah. I'd probably... <clears throat> I'd be like, who is, who is this guy? Yeah. I doesn't even... Guy's just been on his phone for four blocks. Does he know where he's going? Yeah. No, but the, the turns, because I, I get that everyone's kind of on vacation and sl and slowed down, and so they're not they're uh, like in their own head. But I'm talking like, I'll just give you throw a, real, a turn I'll signal. I'll give you a real pet peeve, yeah. Yeah. The dad slash 
super confident guy that just walked out into the crosswalk, even though he knows he got there way too late. But he says pedestrians have the right of way, and you're just common, and you know he's not going to make it. But then he just makes it a point to get out in front of you, so you have to slam on your brakes, and it's yeah. just like, dude, the hundred, really? the hundred and sixty-five pounds of pure entitlement. Can't, yeah. yeah, can't we just like work with each other? Yeah. Like, they, I'll be they past know. you in three seconds, and there's like, no, one, there's no one behind you. For no miles. one behind, yeah. yeah. And it's like, you know, there's a guy that in Ocean City that just got ran over, pummeled because he did that. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's sad. It's just, but it's also just like, also just people just not paying attention. Like that's happened a couple of times. Like, hey, many people get run over, but Ocean City just... is the the biggest place for young kids always coming across the street in front of you because they they let you park. I think too close to the ends of the road, so you like, can't see out. I know. And that's always another one. when I'm driving there, there's always people. It's another one. I'm yeah. Just like this is gnarly. And then how about like with the electric bike fad? Oh, you I'm know? In it. yeah. Look at that thing, dude. <laughs> It is. That's a nice looking bike, though. You like that one? Yeah. Yeah. I'll sell it to you. <laughs> how much, dude? I know you're trying how to get how that. How much you want to pay? I know you're trying to get that golf cart, that street legal golf cart. Mm, I bailed on it. No? Yeah, I bailed on it. What are you talking about? The one at Lowe's, though, like I said before. Yeah, I don't know. I bailed on it. Yeah. Mm. It's probably a good idea. It's just like, it doesn't make sense. It, sound, it sounds super fun, but like. That looks like a really good spot for a jacuzzi, though. Yeah, we can get it in there. You still got that thing? I've been trying, dude. And my Why wife's didn't you been bring like, it over? my wife's been like, "Are you guys gonna get rid of this thing?" Like, re- does it work? Yeah, we should just bring the wave. It machine just like down looks. There, you're gonna just have to like. We leave. What's the deal, dude. Now that you own the house, can we like? We can make some waves or make make a, make this wave pool happen. What's going on, dude. I was gonna say you guys need to come over if you go if you go to the tick farm again. I'm only like three minutes down the road from here. Really? Not Imagine even. you had the tick farm and then a wave pool. Oh, be a two stop. You know, like that'd be a nice that'd be a nice little day. Yeah. The only reason to go down to Upper Township, just like, <laughs> just uh, get all that water. I thought you, you're you're a bass fisherman now, though, right? Ooh, dude, I caught a nice freaking. Oh. How big was that thing? Did you? A few pounds. His lake. I got it. Well, actually, nice. the video is gone probably because my phone. I dropped my phone into the bottom of the lake. No Ooh. bait, dude. I was just jigging. Oh, that actually is sad. Yeah. I don't. I don't have that video anymore. Um. Did I send it to you? Probably. It'll be nice lost too, my Will. Yeah. You could shake up all that lake water and just get like dengue fever or something yeah. from like the bugs coming yeah, out. Yeah, that water's clean. You fresh, think? Fresh spring. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Because they just dug until they hit water. What if instead of making a car, we make like a um, a floating contraption that's kind of like it floats on the sides, but underwater, it's like underwater. And then we pull it with a winch across and it just creates a standing weight. Like a, you think you could do, uh, I think yeah. we could build that. Just like think? a V. Yeah, like a V. And it like creates like a You'd have to have it just rip it underneath the water and then yeah, it would just, just cause a wave. It. With like a chain and then you'd need a big motor to pull that though. Yeah. With like the speed you want. Like a diesel probably. Nice rental. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice rental. I was also thinking like this might be a cool idea. Like you just get like a one of those big uh freight containers, like those big metal containers, you just fill it with rocks. And you rent like a big crane. You just lift it up, <laughs> just drop, drop it. it. <laughs> lift it up, drop it. We should, or do like the plunger thing, like the Mark Acalupo. Oc- See? Pool. See? That'd be crazy. You could plunge. Yeah. How could you do that? Would you need something in the water? Or you could do it with a crane. I feel like they must have it on something in the. Yeah, I guess you could do it with a crane. Like what if you just had a big 25 foot wide flat piece of metal and you were just Dropping plunging, in the water. dude? That'd yeah, but you, like you know what like a block and tackle is, where it's like almost ancient technology with the rope, and then it goes around and around. Oh yeah, yeah. And like you could pick up something super heavy with minimal effort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of the gears and stuff, but I feel like if you did something like that, you could have something up top like pulling it, you know, and then have the plunger come down. You think you get a stand-up barrel? No, no. I think we'd get like a... Probably. Yeah. I mean, some yeah. of those ways we were kicking off with the... The biggest issue with the the wave pool we made was the fact that it was a vast open thing. If we had something that was 20 feet wide and 4 feet deep, and we just had like... So the car was here, and like this part's 4 feet, and this part's 2 feet, right? So it's like a ledge underwater. 
you drive down, you're making a wave that whole two foot section. Yeah. Like the whole way. It's just like the engineering is actually in the basin, not in the yeah. car really. Because we, we were kicking off plenty of water. Yeah. Like if we drove in nice and slow and built that up and just had it hitting a shallow spot. And had like a runway. You'd be like fucking. Where did the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Am I right though? <laughs> like, Maybe. Like it's, it's green in front of the trailer, right? And then it's white foam here and you're just teeing off in yeah. front of the truck. That would be mental. And it's fully, all the science is there. Where's the truck at? Uh, it's at my dad's in PA. Oh, okay. It's just sitting. She's done, dude. Yeah, she. I mean, you never know with this guy, but. Dude. But I think we're going semi-truck. I Next feel like time. Something bigger and get deeper in the water. We just, you just want a lot up. Yeah, weight. Yeah. Lead, lead weight. sled. Yeah. We could do a lot. Solid runway, dude. Yeah. Come on. So. That jacuzzi, though. Yeah, we're gonna get. Can you, can you envision it right there? I can. My wife wants a tree there, or a jacuzzi, maybe. <laughs> I think we just about uh re- got there. You think so? Sixty minutes, pretty much. No way. How we feeling? What else you got? Will you got anything else? Anything last words? Um, no, not really. No. No. Just promote the the Anchor Rock show June seventh. Sick. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna get out there. Andy, the I'm gonna put the mosh the mosh shoes back on. Yeah, are you? Yeah. This guy broke his ribs at. That. I broke my ribs at that spot. Did you? Dude, it was my buddy. It was, it was a two person mosh pit. <sighs> Dude, so my it was actually a good friend of mine just shoved me down right into it. Oh man. You know, like that little step around the outside. Yeah. I'm just standing there. It was like the beginning of a set. My buddy's band was playing. It was like the beginning of the set, and he just came running across and just shoved me down, and like no one was behind me to catch me. So I just fell straight into the corner of that. Right, yeah. like where the bar is on the far wall. It's that. gotta hurt when you're laying down on that boogie board. It's <laughs> a good one. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I could have been harvesting in an Avalon this morning. You think? Yeah. You, you, guys, you guys could have been too, you were, dude. You were it was like. Stink Casino Pier, what are you worried about? <sighs> no, I mean, video doesn't lie. <laughs> Clips don't dude, lie. Dude, I need redemption, boys. dude. You know what you should do? I need to get in better shape because that was been i felt like that was my my achilles well, you that know also like, i haven't been paying attention to the forecast but the zone our little zone short break that's what you should you be think paying. it's been happening that's what you should have been paying attention to well, this whole time yeah because i like Call me up dude i'll tell you eight, ben. well i'll tell you what that spot I, I like spots that you don't have to paddle far dude, that spot's the best yeah <laughs> how many days don't have you we think don't you think there? will till i fucking so many till we went out there when it was mushy and i i forgot i broke uh, my arm there two and a half foot stalling <laughs> Sure. Isn't that nuts? It's pathetic. How do you think I really did it, though, like, before that? I'm telling you, dude, I guarantee it was because of fatigue. You think? Yeah. Because think about it, you're just You were just doing this for hours. <laughs> and then, like, trying to get up <laughs> on the jet ski. I'm telling you, know? yeah, because you were going between that and then exactly jumping off. Yeah, but I don't off. want that. I want, to be all, I want to be almighty. Like, I want to be able to jet ski for 10 hours. Well, then just come, back with, back. A ven- come back with a vengeance, then. That's what I'm doing. Should be, yeah. I've been trimming up, dude. I'm getting I, gnarly. I genuinely think that's kind of what happened. Like you said, maybe you already had, like, your dad did it, so maybe, like, genetically it was, I don't know. You guys claim genetics. Pre- predisposed, you know, predisposed to being, like, <laughs> hurt, but. Yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know. Just I, a fall risk, you know, yeah. accident prone. It's dude, a, I am accident prone, though. It's a theory. Maybe. It's a theory. I got a lot of injuries. Yeah, but admit, if you never went to the doctor, I think mine would have been fine. If I never went to the doctor, I never would have been hurt. Would you have gone to the doctor as well? Me? Yeah, you just let it ride. Probably go to the doctors like two years later after my arm's falling off. (laughs) Maybe like, hey, doc, I got this weird lump on my bicep. Yeah. (laughs) What's going on? It's just one of those things where it's like I knew. I'm always the, I'm such a long term guy and it, it, it does like suck sometimes, but I'm like, okay, well, if they fix it, it's fixed. Yeah. If I gamble it, yeah. I'm gonna be surfing for sure. But in yeah, life dude, might not made, be the same. You made year. you made the right choice. You, you surf for a living, dude. You gotta freaking fix. You gotta take care of the. You're gonna have to like do. It's your temple, dude. This is your temple. You have to, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to like figure out like the certain stretches you need to do yeah. like every session. Dude, I got on my foam roller because like, if two not, days you're ago. smoked for two weeks, <laughs> like me. <laughs> you should foam roll. But I got on my foam roller for the first time since I got hurt. It was gnarly. Could what, barely just, sit on just it. Just like, quads. Put my butt cheek on it. It's just like it feels like you're getting electrocuted, dude. Like muscles are just so. How'd you feel after that run? Were you good? Oh, I was beat for like a day and a half. Were you? Yeah. 
Why didn't you really run with walk. us, Will? That's freaking crazy, dude. You just don't care about the kids in wheelchairs? <laughs> I just was wondering because I'm like, yo, you Will, sure, certainly Will will show some, up for this race. <laughs> I had something. The guy do just that, doesn't man. even come. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> Thank you and Perry, dude. Yeah. So, oh, I was with Jack, Perry. dude. They were both working. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's nuts, but anyway. Sweet. Thanks. Thanks for coming on, Will. Yeah, we love thanks you. for having me. You're the man. Hey, man. Listen to Gutter Drunk. We'll see you June 7th. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thanks, A-Frame. Thanks, guys. Yes, sir. And thanks to you, the viewer. Yeah. Because you're the one that makes this happen. Is there any viewers? <laughs> no, not, not yet, yet no. dude. We're, we're hoping. <laughs> thanks, brother. Hell yeah, dude. The voice. <laughs>